Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been seeing hot takes everywhere, people supporting standing with Libya for what they did to the Nigerian players and I, I was just like wow really in as much as I'm not a fan of Nigeria, I'm not a fan of football, and I'm not a fan of the Nigerian footballers, uh, let's face reality here. What the Libyans did was completely unacceptable, okay? Because this was not just about the Nigerian footballers. It's not about the Nigerian football team, no. It's not about the super egos. It was not about just getting at Nigerians or getting back at Nigerians. There were other people involved. There were other people on board. There were pilots who were not Nigerians. There were cabin crew members who were not Nigerians. Now, let me... I, I, I was an air hostess, right? And when it comes to aviation, it's not like a road trip where probably um, when you fill up your tank, and it's okay, you want to travel from Accra to Takradi or you want to travel from Accra to Kumasi and then you get to somewhere and you see that, okay, you've run um, low of fuel and you decide to just drive into a fuel station and fill up your gas. Up there, there is nothing like that. You have to drive, you have to fly according to the time, the duration of fuel in your aircraft. So if they had initially, you know, checked in that, okay, we're taking off from Lagos, Nigeria, we're gonna land at so, so, so and so in Libya. The aircraft is definitely gonna operate according to the fuel, right? Now, getting to Libya, approaching the airport, the international airport that you checked in from Lagos and you get um, notified as a pilot that you should divert the aircraft to another, a different location. And it's not just any other location, a domestic airline, a domestic airport for that matter. And we, are, we, 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 we shouldn't pretend like we don't know that domestic airports have they don't, they don't have all the facilities, all the facilities and um, everything in place for international flights, right? So when you want to, when you want to land in um, a domestic airport with an international flight, what, what, what exactly is your plan? Isn't it crashing? I watched the, the, the video of the interview with the pilot that flew that aircraft he was really upset yes and luckily he had worked there for some time so he knew his way around otherwise that flight would have crashed that air airplane would have crashed and should we now pretend that okay we're trying to laugh at Nigerian team and buy other innocent individuals who just left their homes to work the pilots who are not Nigerians, the, the flight attendants who were not Nigerians. Where have we kept our humanity? We get so blinded with hate sometimes that we don't even want to see anything else apart from what we want to see. It was totally wrong. That was a, a, a planned murder from Libyan government. I do not care what they're trying to pay back at, but it was completely unacceptable. It was alleged that the Libyan team were scheduled to land in Uyo Airport, Uyo International Airport, because the football match was supposed to take place in Uyo. They went to land in Botakot Airport. Why? It was not the Nigerian uh, Airport Authority that directed, redirected their flight to Botakot. They decided to land in Botakot. It was alleged that provisions were made for them to take local flights to Uyo from Patakot. It's not supposed to be there. They didn't want to spend money to enter local flights. 
to Portacourt, uh, to Uyo from Portacourt. They opted for road trip. Even me, we be Nigerian, know they like do road trip. It come be foreigners, Brunis for that matter. They opted for the road trip, which they had to go through. So let me let me understand something. Maybe I'm lost. Was it the Nigerian football uh, a team that was supposed to take care of the, the expenses of their local flight from the Potaka they went to to the Uyo they were supposed to go to? Please let me know in the comment section because everybody knows right now how much fuel is in Nigeria and how much local flights are, the prices of local flights are. So please, in situations like this, was it supposed to be the Nigerian football team that was supposed to take care of the expenses of their trip from Potakot to Uyo? Kindly let me know in the comment section. I don't know how these things work, so I'm curious. I want to learn too. I am just judging from a neutral ground here, from the the, the the side of humanity here that is completely wrong for Libyans to do what they did. Okay, what was it about holding them hostage at the airport? You took them to a different airport. They wanted to go check into a hotel. They were not allowed to leave the airport. They were not given food. They were not given Wi-Fi. They were not given... So what exactly was that supposed to mean? Imagine going into a country that you don't know anybody and then you are not given access to internet. That means you, they really want you to buy there. A country as unsafe as Libya. Oh, I miss Gaddafi. During the years of Gaddafi, during the time, during the reign of Gaddafi, there was nothing like all these things. Libya used to be one of the best countries in Africa. Libya was, Libya used to see themselves as Africans. Ever since Obama and co destroyed Gaddafi, Libya became something else. They were this kind of um, these kind of countries that um, want to chest terrorism and all that. That they are not supposed to even be associating with things like sports with other African countries, especially the fact that they don't see themselves as Africans. So redirecting, calling the pilot to change where he was supposed to land after checking in a different location from Nigeria that you're going to land them at Sososo Airport in Libya and then you want to go and land them in a different airport. So whatever happens to them, they are there on their own. All the crew members of the pilots, if their plane had crashed, they were on their own because where you checked in to land from Lagos before taking off was a different airport. I don't know why people, a lot of people are not seeing anything wrong with this move. It was a calculated murder that didn't happen. And it was lucky that, they were lucky that the pilot is an experienced pilot and he knew his way around that domestic airport. That was how, how he was able to land safely in that airport. Please, let's not be getting ourselves overshadowed with whatever hate we want to build inside us and always call it speed is speed. What the Libyans did was very wrong. And I learned they have been found, they have been fined by the um, Khan to pay, I think, 10 million, something like that. And the, the, the match was, was, has been shifted to 2025 in another country. I don't follow up, I don't, I'm not a football fan, but if it is true, then that's impressive. Libyans should do better. When they left Libya, they already decided to land in Port Harcourt from Libya. They checked in from Libya to land in Port Harcourt against what Nigerian, the Nigerian um, Football Association told them, to, where they told them to schedule their flights. So I don't see how it is tit for tat. It is not tit for tat. If they had allowed them to, they chose to land in Patakot. Nigerians didn't choose to land where they took, they redirected them to when the pilot was already approaching the said airport that they chose. Those two situations were not the same. 
I don't really want to know whatever happens afterwards. But the fact that they chose to land in Port Harcourt instead of Uyo, I cannot imagine coming to Ghana for the first time and um, I'm coming to, let's take for instance, I'm coming to um, for an event and the organizers of the event in Ghana tells me to land in Accra. And I book my flight and go and land in Tamale instead. Or I go and land in Kumasi instead. How is this supposed to be the fault of the event planners? Right? That was what happened here. Now, in this case, I'm in, in the Libyan case, where you people are calling it tit for tat, Nigerians were going to land in the Accra that they were told to land. A pilot had checked in from Lagos Airport that we are going to land in Accra and getting too close to Accra, a call came in from the high authority or whatever and redirected the flight to go and land in Tamale. In the name of what? And then you get to Tamale, you didn't make provisions for any Wi-Fi so I could at least contact or talk to people maybe if I know people in Ghana or I can talk to my my people in Nigeria to see what's going on you deprived them of Wi-Fi you deprived them of food you deprived them of water you deprived them of freedom you didn't even allow them to leave the airport at least go check into a hotel and that was not that was a deliberate murder plan that didn't end up getting executed and if anybody is not seeing the, deep, the deeper picture here I'm sorry we have more things in our hand than we thought the, Niger the Ghanaians were busy laughing at the Nigerian team that they were got getting eye for eye standing with Libya and things and then the next minute uh, uh, Sudan scored them 2-0 Nigerians started laughing at them too all this nonsense, you people should just stop this thing. We have more serious issues at hand. We have more serious issues at hand. If you people are not seeing it, then I'm sorry. Now so on I go to continue. Look at the look at the situation of things in those two countries. Imagine in, in a in, in a situation where Nigeria is functioning well, Ghana is functioning well. Africa will be a, a force to reckon with, but they don't want it to happen. And most of the citizens are not allowing it to happen. It's really unfortunate. So please, people should stop standing it. It's not it for that. It's not the same. They didn't treat them that way. All right? It was not the same. The Libyans intentionally did what they did because they already planned what they were going to do in their own country when it's time so that they would just say, okay, because they know that, oh, once we say, oh, bandits happened, uh, Nigerians did this, everybody's going to fly with it. But this one, this time, I am not standing with, with, with Libya. No, what they did to the Nigerian team, those pilots, the air, the air hostesses in that flight, it was too risky. Redirecting a flight that had gotten to its location to go and land 200 kilometers away. My concern is not the super egos those other people in that flight nobody is worried about them and it's giving me serious concern that is how much we lack humanity in us as africans and we can do better thank you guys if this is your first time on my channel and you are interested in my kind of contents don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are a returning viewer if you are one of my subscribers thank you for always watching my videos thank you for always engaging in my comments section it gives me so much joy thank you and keep it up all right i'll see you in the next video let me know what you think in the comment section guys do you think it's okay to have ignored the lives of the cabin crew, the lives of the pilots that were at stake during this messy behavior and just focus on laughing at the super egos just because yeah it's a Nigerian payback time. Let me know in the comment section. Alright guys, thank you so much. We can do better as humans. Let's face humanity first. Let's leave all these divisions and tribalism and what, what have you aside. We were all humans before gender, we were all humans, before country, we were all humans, before all these things. Let's focus on the fact that we have the same red blood flowing through our veins, alright? Thank you so much. We can do better. Hmm? 
I love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.